Oh, they pale in comparison. What pales? These flowers to your lovely eyes. Impossible to match because of the way the color subtly changes with your mood. A man could make those eyes his life's work. <laughs> what are these for? Token of my goodwill. As an admirer of nature's beauty and as a businessman. I came in person to speak to someone about a business opportunity. I can't accept the flowers and I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Oh. What is he saying to you? I'm fine. There he is. Scion of the Corinthos family, a young man who wished to work the docks for his father's coffee company. A man who's not there, afraid to get his hands dirty. There's all kinds of ways to get your hands dirty. You are the perfect person to appreciate my unique dilemma. What do you want? I have ample, legitimate funds, just like the ones generated by your father's coffee business, and I'm looking to make a legitimate return. I wish to make an investment in ELQ. Get out. We're not interested. <laughs> you will be, ever. one way or another. Are you threatening me, or are you delusional? I'm a man who sees wonderful opportunities for both of us. For all of us. Is there a problem? Mr. Zakara won't take no for an answer. After our encounter on the pier the other day, I have been giving this matter a lot of thought. I am more convinced than ever that ELQ is the place for me to invest. It would be a perfect fit. Well, Miss Quarterman clearly doesn't agree. Well, I think it's just a matter of clearing up some misperceptions. Would you explain the SEC to Mr. Zakara and that we will not be laundering your dirty money? I'm talking about investing legitimate capital. I'm interested in a mutually beneficial relationship. Uh, Mr. Zakara, is it? We're not entertaining outside investors at this time. I can make it worth your while. For instance, I know that you're interested in acquiring Dracon Securities. With my investment, you can make a preemptive bid. Their other backer has dropped out. Make yourself useful. Throw them out. I know the way. And you can thank me for my help later. have been here a matter of days and already gangsters are lining up. You can't blame Michael for this. I fought my father on bringing you into the company. But he thinks of you as family. I, on the other hand, think of you as a mob magnet. But I could not predict how much damage you could do in such short amount of time. Okay, as far as I recall, Michael advised your father to play hardball on the Asgard deal and save the company a lot of money his first day on the job. A fluke. No question about it. Hey, and as far as Anthony Zakara wanting to make an investment in the company, that is hardly Michael's fault. Which one of you was blabbing about the Dracon deal? You calm down. Nobody's been blabbing about anything. That is the only explanation for Anthony Zakara knowing about it. He was never supposed to leave this office. Okay, I didn't say a single thing about it out of this office. Okay? Neither did I. Well, you have not been paying enough attention to know that it was really important, so it had to be you. I give you my word. <laughs> the word of a woman who makes a living taking her clothes off! Oh, Tracy, ease up. And don't make things tougher on yourself. Look, I know that you want to get rid of me. And you hate the idea of me being groomed to take over, right? Well, you know what? The harder you are on Abby, the more inclined I am to stay. So if you really want me gone, you start treating her with the respect she deserves. I'm going to give her exactly what she deserves. You know what? You should start treating me a little nicer, too. That way I, uh, I don't stick around just to piss you off. Just leave before you ruin this company and you break your great-grandfather's heart. Well, she is right about one thing. The Dracon deal was a secret. If we didn't tell about it, who did? <laughs> that went well. You said way too much. Why did you bring up Dracon? It's called stirring the pot. That's something they probably didn't teach you at Harvard. No one outside the office knew we were preparing to make that offer. What if someone figures out I fed you that information? Relax. Tracy thinks it's Michael. She wants to think it's Michael. You, Tracy's trusted go-to guy, are all set up to close the Dracon deal 
be a hero and make yourself even more trusted, which puts you in a much better position to set up BLQ for the big fall. It's a big risk. Yeah, with a big reward. I need a front, a legit business to where I can funnel my dirty money. ELQ is perfect. You help me run it into the ground, then I'll buy it up for peanuts and I'll give it to you to run. Makes a much better front than a coffee company. <laughs> the possibilities are endless. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.